the contradiction with this testimony is not too hard to find. She says that she got all of the fragments of the broken jar. Well, Lana didn't know it at the time, but one of the pieces of the jar was taken by Chief Gant and hidden inside his safe. Phoenix is now going to make a very impressive conclusion. He has just proven that Chief Gant was the first person at the scene of the crime. The best part is Chief can't do anything about this conclusion because he gave up his right to testify! Alright, way to go, Phoenix! Well, Your Honor, can you give us an explanation? I don't think the judge can explain it. Wait, hold on a second. He's not the one on trail here. What do you think, he's hiking or something? The judge is not on trail. Uh, typos. Answer, Fabrication. Defense attorneys make up the he most foul lies. Wait, what? The he most foul lies? Aw oh, man, not more typos! Oh well, fortunately that is the last typo we will see in this game. Dun dun dun! Phoenix has now made a dramatic conclusion. No, I don't tell foul lies! He's... Never mind. Aha! Come on, Lana, tell the truth. Yay! Way to go, Lana. And here we go, the last testimony of the game.
What? She has some decisive proof. Wait, she gave it to Phoenix? When did this happen? Aw, thanks, Ema. I always knew Lana had faith in us. Well, let's see. What did Lana give us today? Oh, hey, she gave us the Book of Evidence Law. Let's use some scientific investigation. And there you go! There's the picture! Whoa! You Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Well, that's a very interesting picture. And naturally, as with every other picture that has been presented in this game, practically every other picture anyway, there is a decisive contradiction inside the picture. Can you figure it out? I'm not going to spoil it for you. It will come into play later. But in the meantime, see if you can figure it out for yourself. 